Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. Today, in this video lesson, we are going to solve a problem in one dimensional body that to particularly about a freely falling body. Let us first have a look at the problem that is given. The problem is like this. There is a parachutist. He drops freely from an aeroplane for 10 seconds before the parachute opens out. That means for 10 seconds, he has just fallen like a freely falling body. Then at the 10th second, he has switched on his parachute. It has got opened. Then he descends after opening the parachute with a net retardation of 2 meter per second square. His velocity on reaching the ground when he reaches the ground is 8 meter per second. We need to calculate the height of that person where he got uh, jumped from the aeroplane with a parachute. That's the problem is. Let's try solving the problem. That's by visualizing the problem. Say for example, this is the aeroplane who is moving with a horizontal velocity that doesn't affect our problem in any way because the parachute is falling vertically down. He has fallen like this. For 10 seconds, he has fallen just like a freely falling body. So he will cover a distance during that, he will acquire a velocity during that process. I want to calculate what is that. So, after 10 seconds, the displacement of that fellow, I want to calculate the displacement using a formula S equal to ut plus half at square. The standard equation of motion, which is a familiar value for all of us, familiar equation for all of us. Being a freely falling body, initial velocity is 0 half a is nothing but g t square is nothing but equal to 10 square that is half 9.8 and 100 that is 4.9 into 100 that is nothing but equal to 490 meter so for this 10 seconds he has fallen a height of 490 meters and he will also acquire a velocity i can get that using a formula v equal to u plus cat u is 0, a is g, 9.8, time is 10 seconds. So, you got a velocity of 98 meter per second. So, that part is over. He has uh, just uh, relieved himself from the aeroplane and now he opened his parachute. He has opened his parachute. So, this is the second part. The first part we have already discussed and then we are talking about the second part. So by the time he comes to this location, he has already having a velocity 98 meter per second and it is given that while he is striking the ground, he has got a velocity of 8 meter per second. And he has a retardation of 2 meter per second square. Being a retardation, minus 2, we are supposed to take. So, during the second phase, again we can write. During the second phase. What I mean by second phase is, when the parachute got opened. I can use a formula, equation of motion, a simple equation of motion, 2as. V square is nothing but equal to A square. U square is 98 square. A equal to minus 2 and S. So, if you uh, simplify this further as 8 plus 98, 8 minus 98 equal to minus 4 into S. Where this is some S, let me call that as S2. Earlier one we can we can call it like S1. Yeah. So 8 plus 98 is something like 106 minus 90 by minus 4 is S2. If you calculate this value, this S2 value will become 238.5 meter. So after opening the parachute, he has covered a distance of 238.5. 5 meter that implies he bailed out 
from the aeroplane at a height of 490 meters plus the second value 238.5 meter so if you add both of them we will get a value of 2,000,000 875 meter this value is if you calculate this is 2385 meter so he is bailed out from the aeroplane at a height of 2875 meter thank you for watching keep coming for more and more video lessons